course, you have all this data now in a, one large Excel spreadsheet, but it, it was written by many hundreds of different respondents. So therefore, there's different formatting, there's spaces, there are other things involved. The data needs to be cleansed. I asked Nolan how we go about cleansing the data in preparation for model development. So when you consider uh, these surveys over time, there were slight differences in some of the uh, collected data. So one example I could give is that as individuals were setting up different surveys, they may ask the same question, but they would reverse the scaling on the question. So as an example, if you highly agreed with the, uh, the response to a question in one survey that may have been a five, in a previous survey with the same exact question, that scale may have been reversed and it was actually a one. So we had to make sure that when we collected the data that all of the different responses were on the same scale. Now on the team's data, that was relatively easy because the data that came out had both the, the number as well as the response. In Qualtrics, there is a lookup table that's used to identify um, when you select a particular response, what number is associated with that. And the number was basically what we received in the download. So it, there would be activities that were conducted to, to look up that scaling and make sure that we had the correct identification and we were not flipping those questions around and providing a one that was highly agree versus a five that was highly agreed. We made sure that we uh, identified those particular differences and harmonize the data so we use the same scaling uh, aligned with the same response to the question. 